Hello and welcome to Spread Book Joy. I'm Jack and if you're new to the channel, I am a primary school teacher who loves to share great books with children for home or school, but I also talk about my own reading. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about picture books because I did a readathon which I co-hosted with the amazing Shelley Swearingen over at Shelley Swearingen's library. And it was all around promoting picture books for everybody and the idea that adults should also look at picture books as a valid medium for reading. And it was so successful and I just want to say thank you to everybody who took part and part of what I wanted to do for picture this was talk about picture books and who they are for and then I found an essay entitled exactly that by the amazing Sean Tan and he said things in a much more articulate way so whilst I flick through his amazing book The Lost Thing I'm just going to read a few extracts from that essay the idea of a picture book as a literary or visual art form carries a number of tacit assumptions. Picture books are quite large, colourful, easy to read and very simple in their storyline and structure. Not very long and most significantly produced exclusively for a certain audience, namely children, especially of the younger variety. Picture books are generally put on the shelves of bookstores, libraries, lounge rooms and bedrooms for young children where they apparently belong. Picture books are synonymous with children's literature. But is this a necessary condition of the art form itself, or is it just a cultural convention, more to do with existing expectations, marketing prejudices and literary discourse? The simplicity of a picture book, in terms of narrative structure, visual appeal and often fable-like brevity, might seem to suggest that it is indeed ideally suited to a juvenile readership. It's about showing and telling a window for learning to read in a broad sense, exploring relationships between words, pictures and the world we experience every day. But is this an activity that ends with childhood, when at some point we are sufficiently qualified to graduate from one medium to another? Simplicity certainly does not exclude us sophistication or complexity. We inherently know that the truth is otherwise. Art, as Einstein reminds us, is the expression of the most profound thoughts in the simplest way. And it's clear that older readers, including you and me, remain interested in the imaginative play of drawings and paintings, telling stories and learning how to look at things in new ways. There is no reason why a 32-page illustrated story can't have equal appeal for teenagers or adults as they do for children. After all, other visual media such as film, television, painting or sculpture do not suffer from narrow preconceptions of audience, so why should picture books? It is interesting to observe that when I paint pictures for gallery exhibitions, I am never asked who I am painting for. Returning to that question, who do you write and illustrate for, perhaps the best answer I can give is this. Anyone who reads and looks, that is, anyone who is curious, who enjoys strangeness, mystery and oddity, who likes asking questions and using their imagination, and is prepared to devote time and attention accordingly. Books are not a way of letting someone else think in our place, writes Umberto Eco. On the contrary, they are machines that provoke further thought. The failure of the narrator in The Lost Thing to realise any meaning in his own story, seeing it as pointless, leaves such responsibility in the reader's hands. For me, a successful picture book is one in which everything is presented to the reader as a speculative proposition, wrapped in invisible quotation marks, as if to say, what do you make of this? All of those quotes were from the amazing essay by Sean Tan, Picture Books, Who Are They For? I'll leave a link in the description box. I'd urge you to go and read the full essay because it's absolutely marvellous. And if you took part in Picture This, I just want to say a wholehearted thank you. I've had people taking part on Instagram and on YouTube producing content. If you use the hashtag Picture This 2022, or Shelley and I will catch up with your content if we haven't seen it already and add it to our playlist. If you haven't seen any of the amazing content, I'll link the playlist playlist in the description box or you can search the hashtag picture this 2022 and if you did take part thank you and if you didn't take part it's not too late go and pick up a picture book and as Sean Tan says just think what do I make of this uh, they're open for speculation that's exactly what they're for okay hopefully I will see you again here soon bye <laughs>